the adventure began in a little village in England, where, having bought a bunch of plywood and timber battens, I began the project to kick my life back into gear after a spot of testicular cancer. <laughs> and so, my two-week challenge to build a boat and paddle a hundred miles began. I'm trying to do less stupid things. It's massive! <laughs> Attempting to build a canoe in England, however, meant rain. Lots of rain. This is supposed to be my holiday. After making a quick paddle... How good is that? We set off to test the boat out for the first time. It's so amazing! And so, our journey along the UK's longest river began. The 100-mile journey begins. After some bad camping and forgetting to wash my sporty clothes... So I've got my work clothes on. We made our way to Shrewsbury. Oh, no. In search of champagne to officially name my homemade canoe. After almost destroying my unfit office body, the dog and I tried to escape the city to find a place to stay for the night. <sighs> Tired, wet, cold and in the dark. That was too much. We finally got out of the boat with a long, long way left to go. Yesterday broke me. Not been sleeping well in the tent with the dog. And there's trains going past every 10 minutes. There's another one. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think I can do what I did yesterday again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly, gently, relaxingly go down the river. Maddie is asleep, and if you're going to be tired and knackered, this is the place to be, I think. So I think today has got to be a peaceful day. I still haven't named the boat. But I need some energy for, to do that because that's an exciting moment so I'd like to enjoy that and now is not the moment oh god just gotta keep going right into the wind it's not the very fast part of the river this is the hardest it's been so far it's a bit of a slog Artless, I own. one of those times to just put your headphones on Oh, for God's sake, they're so tangled. I am the type of person that just stuffs things in pockets. I will get there. Hang on. Ah. After being stuck working in an office for months on end, the joy of being outside and adventuring was waning a little. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Just put music on and paddle away. Oh, see how far we can get, see the sights, see where we end up at. Two days worth of paddling, winding around 35 miles of river on about two hours sleep was taking its toll on a bloke who usually counts how many hours he stares into a computer screen rather than hours spent inside a homemade canoe. I can promise you, you are watching one very tired and very frustrated man. Frustrated because it's difficult not to look at a map and see just how far you have left to go. I'm not proud of this moment. And hey, I'm a filmmaker. I could just cut this out and pretend like I've gone from strength to strength, but that's just not true. This is bloody true to life. A weird mix of successes and failures, trying to find your limit, and sometimes doing stupid things to get there. Well this, ladies and gentlemen, was my stupid thing. This is what I should have trained for, rather than just jumping in with blind optimism. 
finding myself up Shits Creek with a homemade paddle. But after barely sleeping, eating not much other than biscuits for 36 hours, time for my first meal in. Well, day and a half. And having to watch this one wag his tail with seemingly endless energy, I found my limit. And I did what I was desperately trying not to do. Stop. And see my hopes of getting to the finish line slip away. I wish that we could stop. I wish that we could stop. Not a good day today. I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I stopped. I I think it was the right call then. I've had the afternoon just honestly not doing much. I wanted to work on my paddle. I wanted to, there's lots of stuff I wanted to do, but I didn't do any of it. However, I do feel better now. So I'm half packing the boat now so we can get going early. No luxuries tomorrow morning. Good decision to get up early this morning. Let's get out on the river. I'm excited again. Did I sleep well? No. Does it matter? Right now, no. It's absolutely stunning. Now this is exactly why we set out on this adventure. Oh, that's so corny, but it's true. It's so nice. Ah, oh, I am a happy man. I am a happy, happy man. This is exactly what I was imagining when I was, when I wanted to build this boat and whilst I was building it. All those frustrations and mistakes and the time it took to build it. Well, this is why I did. in its finest. Now, sit rep, today I have got a call scheduled with my uh, project leader. I don't know what I'm going to say to them because at the moment I don't know how I'm going to get home to start the project, but I'm going to try and wangle to start the project in, the, in a few days' time if I can blag it. And I do want to get to the finish line, even if I get to the finish line late. So happy, so happy. What are we doing, dog? Hey? It's important to maintain a daily ritual. Now this might be the best place I've ever cleaned my teeth. What I'm planning on doing is paddling for a couple of hours till about eight o'clock and then stop and have breakfast and coffee. Didn't have time for any of that. I wanted to get out. What a beautiful place. I just can't say the same things today. It's sunny. Oh, it's really sunny. Oh, God. My, uh, canoeing stroke I think is getting good enough that I can spend a lot of time looking around now and I know I'm going to be vaguely going straight Trying the technique of stopping more regularly. 
giving Muddy a break and a swim. And what a lovely day. Ah! So this is your best holiday ever. <laughs> Pure joy. 58 miles to go. We will reach the halfway point today. You bet. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, get in. Wait. To Iron Bridge. That is our next stop. It's a long way, but we got time. Yeah, kind of. I'm gonna turn right quite quickly, which is a bit tricky because my center of gravity is on the left now after my operation. As you can see, the boat just doesn't like it. The boat does not like going that way. Muddy, Muddy, wait, 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 oh god, <laughs> he's weeing, oh the first time I left it too long, sorry Muddy, well my boat now has dog wee in it, that's nice, just dip Muddy's blanket in the river, This is a glamorous holiday, this one, isn't it? Mud oh. You ready? Go on. Oh, wait there. Please don't learn that you can wee in the boat. There it is. Wow, look at that. I've been seeing signs of the uh, history of this area from the Industrial Revolution. But that one is a beauty. Look at that. I think it's the first bridge ever made, ever constructed out of iron. Long bloody time ago. There you go, that's my history lesson. I wonder if in its old history, anyone's put a homemade canoe under it. Let's pretend they haven't. Let's pretend I'm the first. Yes. I read that there was some rapids past Iron Bridge in a place called Jackfield. I do, oh, it's very pretty, look at all these houses. Don't get distracted. I do not know if they're difficult. This boat has never been through rapids. I've heard there's some rapids down there, but I don't know when or how hard they are. Do you reckon I'll be fine? You don't know, okay. Huh? No, I built it. Wow, they looked so unco so unconfident. Oh, this is this is wow. This is like being in Jurassic Park land. Look at all this. Oh, this is great. Wow. Oh, ace. That was cool. So that can't be the rapids. That was just a fun, fast section. Ah, you can hear the front of the boat. My boat has taken a lot of knocks this week. However, I think if I hit a rock whilst going quickly, I don't, I don't know if it could deal with that, especially with all the weight in it. I think I'm going to try and not find out. All gear is being packed away, everything is being strapped down, and we're going to go for it. I've just been to have a look, I found a path, doesn't look too bad, should be very fun, 
Uh, if I don't hit a rock, it'll be fine. But I am gonna pack and strap everything down. <sighs> so, plan of action is head for that V and then dart left past the big rock. Definitely the most nervous I have been so far. Okay. Here we go, Muddy. Wait there, wait. Is it? Come on! Wait there, Muddy. Wait there, Muddy. Boat. Yes! <laughs> yes! That was so good! Woohoo! Good boy, buddy! Good boy! Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic adrenaline. Good boat. Oh, it was one of the coolest stakes, but the boat took a big knock at the end. Poof. Muddy got whacked with Wait water. There, Didn't know what was happening. Wait there, but it survived, and that was Woo! incredibly good. I'm just so excited. I can't believe it. Can you, Muddy? You want to just want to play fetch. Good boy. <laughs> I will remember that forever, won't we? You'll probably remember it in your nightwares. I'll remember it in my dreams. Oh, you're just muddy. Ah. Oh, oh, that was good. Good boy. my favorite day so far. It's been a day of beautiful weather, fun rapids, calming scenes, and trees. A lot of trees. Perfect. Except muddy weeing in the boat. <laughs> that was not perfect. But other than that, pretty perfect day. Seven o'clock, we've done more than 20 miles. I think we've done about 21 and a half miles. I'll check probably later. Found this little beach on the edge of a town. There's no campsite in the town, so I didn't want to get to the other side of it because it would take me hours and we'd be paddling in the dark. So here we are. We've got a beach for the night, right by the river. Perfect end to the perfect day. And I've wangled a way that I can do it all again tomorrow. Because I'm supposed to start work tomorrow, but if I'm honest, as I'm sat here camping in the middle of nowhere with no way of getting home except that canoe, I, I don't think that's gonna be possible. <laughs> so I've spoke to the right colleagues and um, it's no problem. I gave them forewarning that I might not make it tomorrow. So, the wonders of being self-employed. I can continue to sit by a campfire and uh, sand down and try and slightly improve my paddle. It's very good one way, but not so comfy the other.
for the final time in your bed. Much better than the office. It's like being in slow motion on this river. 16 days. Six days of paddling. I am so I broken, I must look so haggard. Onwards to our journey's end. <laughs>